baile de favela, a baila é baile de favela. Lady Dace just came through the quarter on a tear. She's telling everyone who listened what a leech and a liar Haramont is. Good job. It's touching to see how strong your love is for your brother. He's ready to see you now, if you wish. I'm going to assume that wasn't sarcasm. I warn you, be on your best behavior, and keep your weapons sheathed. Imagined. My big brother returned from the grave, and with the might of the Grey Wardens behind him. I could hardly believe it when Vartag said you wished to help me regain the throne. You'd have acted against me in a heartbeat if I hadn't done it first. The same way you turned everyone in the assembly against Trian. The same way our father, may the ancestors bless him convinced his elder brother to enter a proving against a convicted murderer. Who do you think gave the murderer the poison to put on his blade? You should thank me then. You could never handle the throne. A king of Orzammar has to be ruthless. He has to tell the assembly to snap to or shut down. He has to accept that in any battle against Darkspawn or politicians there are casualties. Neither you nor Haromont is that king. Father died of grief. He couldn't bear to live when you were gone. You'd have acted against me in a heartbeat of... The same way our father made the... Who do you think gave the murderer the poison to put on his blade? He was a second son who took the throne of Orzammar. Do you honestly believe he did nothing underhanded? And I guess you finally learned something about politics. Now Vartag tells me you're here seeking allies against the Blight. You were right to turn to me. Haramont would bow and dandle you on his knee like a child. But he could never overcome the Assembly's resistance to your treaty. This is a time for action, not cultured debate. We need absolute unity to fight against the fulcrum of true evil. Absolutely. And on the souls of our shared ancestors, as soon as Orzammar is united, under Idukan rule. Unfortunately, while this debate rages, I have no power to send the troops you need. You've seen for yourself, the city is a slaughterhouse. Criminals run lawless. I could never hold the throne if I allowed such chaos. Jarvia and Hercarta are behind this bedlam. If you can eliminate them, I promise as king, I will send as many troops as you need to fight the Darkspawn. Unfortunately, Jarvia's base of operations is in Dust Town, and you know how little leverage we have there. The Castless refuse to cooperate with my men. But now that you've spent so much time on the surface, you're practically one of them. Perhaps you'll have better luck. and I will wait eagerly for your return. I'm surprised to see you back. Have you accomplished what I asked? Your son? What are you... Oh, that's rich. You're talking about that castless girl, aren't you? The one that came around claiming an Idukan son. That was yours. I never figured you for that sort of man. But put me on the throne and I'll give the whore and her brat the Idukan name, and a lovely room in the smallest palace. Now, get back to Jarvia, or all this will be pointless. And if you don't help me, you'll never find out, will you?
Lord Haramont, furious at the Grey Warden's interference. Rumors of Grey Warden demon worship circulate. I have heard nothing from House Idukin. Please don't forget us, my lord. Is... is that likely, my lord? A throne, that's a lot to promise. But it's better than nothing. Thank you, my lord, and good luck. I trust Vala, my no friend. Valen has corrupted the warden. End it for Haramon. on the hopeless nature of the task in front of it. The most likely outcome is that it and its companions will become a stain on some rock for the Darkspawn to tread upon. I shall be moved to a single tear by the tragedy. It's true. One single tear. And then it's off to the north, I think. Or maybe west. I haven't decided. What's that? Did it hear flapping wings? There may be pigeons nearby. We should be alert. Why do the poor not rise up against their betters? This I never understood. There's a rich one. Ahead. We'll get plenty for that shit once we cut them off. you you don't look like any guardsman i ever saw and that's not much of a uniform oh you looking for a chance to bring in some coin 
Could be I have that opportunity. Especially for someone with a few connections above ground. Human kings, you know, they make these ridiculous laws. Like about who gets to buy and sell Lyrian, the sacred gift the stone provides us to show her love. No law should regulate that. The laws are meant to keep mages away from the stuff, so there's always buyers in the Circle Tower. I got one man, named Godwin. He's expecting a delivery of a stone's weight. You want an investment opportunity? Uh, I could see fit to, say, sell you that lyrium instead, at the reasonable price of 50 sovereigns. You can keep it, or, since you can travel freely, f and uh, if you bring back his return order, I could pay you, uh, say, 20 sovereigns as a finder's fee. I don't think so. Boys! I see enemies ahead! Let us end Oh, this way! Oh, nice. Fuck it up. As you wish. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get in your way. No! Don't make me go back there! Don't let them get me again! What do you want, Warden? You're out of your element down here. Is that so? What makes you think anyone here would turn me... I mean, this person in? You've walked into a sodding fight, Warden, and I've already passed your stupid tome along. Too bad for you. Is it time to smoke something else? Destruction. Spare coin. Your clothes are so fancy. Did you get them topside? My ma'am used to say they don't got no stone to protect them topside. If I go up there, I'm a gonna fall into the sky. Yes. <laughs> when my dot left, he never came back. Who's to say he didn't fall up, eh? Don't fall into the sky when you go back up there. Have you a coin to spare, my lord? It's for my son. He's sick. He hasn't any clean clothes to wear or anything to eat today. Neither have I. What information? I don't know anything. Unless you want the names of every mining family in Orzammar. That's what I was. Before. Before my family cast me out and disowned me. Unless... But no! I can't bear to even think of it! My son's father is castless, as is he. I used to be a miner, but my parents stripped my caste and refused to accept me back. Unless I agree to abandon the child in the deep roads and pretend I never bore him! In Orzammar, lineage is traced through the child's same-sex parent. Had my baby been a girl, she would have been a minor like me. But as a boy, my son is considered tainted forever by his father's seed. I cannot abandon my baby. The Shapers teach that only children of true lineage exist, not those born castless. But they never carry the child. He cries like any other infant, and smiles when he's warm and full. I can't kill him because of an accident of birth, an accident I forced on him? Y you would do that? 
But why? Then I cannot offer enough gratitude. But I warn you, my father is a stiff-necked man. His name is Ordell, and he's usually at Tapster's in the evening. I do not think he will listen to you. But I will wait anxiously to see if you can do what you promise. Well, look at that. It's not often old Nadezda sees a fine-dressed stranger here in Dust Town. Help a poor cripple. What are you looking for? Know her. I used to run with her. Jarvia took over the carta not more than a year ago, and already she's got every duster with both legs bearing swords for her. Won't be easy. She's gotten real careful since Barat died. Real paranoid. She's got Carta members all carrying these finger bone tokens. She scratches some mark into them so she'll know they came from her. There's doors to her base all over the city, but only one is ever open at a time. And if you show up without a token, you'd never know it was there. Can't help you there, Salraka. The Carta members keep them real tight. Now, how about that coin you promised? I'll think of you when I go to bed with a full stomach. Well, look what we have here. Jarvia said you were looking for trouble. Congratulations. You found it. Don't kill me! Uh, Sonny ancestors! What do they teach you on the surface? Uh, you fight like a bleeding archdemon. Sweet bloody stone, look at them all! The base is below the city. You... Uh, you can get to it through the wall of the third house on this row. Put this token through the slot, and it'll open. Well, uh, will you let me go now? Can I get you a ladder? Get off my Hey there, stranger. Six bits for a tumble. Two silvers if you all want to go at once. It's everywhere. That's the problem. There's nowhere she can't see you. What's the password?
Looks like we have a martyr, boys. I see enemies ahead! Oh! We are not alone. All right, all right. Uh, you better uh, die. Uh, 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 you will learn to fear me. Uh, 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 get off the uh, uh, Yes. As you... Oh! <laughs> 
Oh. Different? Different than what? Different than a statue? Different than a log? Should I talk in a monotone? Yes, Master, I exist to serve the Master. I shall kill for the Master and only for the Master. Perhaps it expected me to have a booming voice. Recite limericks. <laughs> I can recite limericks if it likes. I am not sensitive. I am made of stone. Sensitive is the exact opposite of what I am. I have never met another golem. I have no idea what one might be like, or why I wouldn't be like them. Why? Has it met other golems? Did they not sound as I do? I don't know what other golems might be like, but I am already superior by virtue of my free will. This is a good thing. Imagine the benefits. No need to eat or sleep or perform other functions. Walk underwater, crush the heads of every opponent. The possibilities are limitless. Barring the occasional 30 years or so of paralysis, there's little to compare. Now stop talking so much. The wagging of its moist little tongue is distracting. Be wary. I see you bear no love for Jarvia. Please, help me. Please, stranger. Done now. Let Are you happy? Thank you. We've been down here. It's been so long. My, my friend didn't make it. Just stopped eating one day. For a stupid bet.
I can't do that. If you must. It called? Ah, uh, tis you. Ugh. Can't do that.
anything else. So Balin finally realized his throne means nothing if he can hold it, yet he still doesn't bother to send his own men. Will you pick the wrong side, stranger? It doesn't matter who's king, as long as there's a queen. You'll pay for their deaths a hundred times over. Kill them, but leave the mouthy one alive. I have plans for him. I see enemies ahead. <laughs> Now what do you want? the beards of my ancestors how did you where did you come from you, you made a hole in my wall no I don't have anything to do with them they're criminals when they built this part of the city they must have built over some tunnels I swear I have no idea oh, just leave me alone I don't want anything to do with this and if anyone comes asking, I'm gonna tell them you did it! Vashadan. Yes. Fast and damnation.
I have heard much about the halls of the Dwarven Kings, but the stories do it no justice. It is so strange, harsh, yet beautiful. And have you seen those tiny pig-like burrowing animals? They are adorable. I wish I could have one as a pet. But they must be hard to catch and... Oh, just ignore me. I'm so silly sometimes. Let's just go. Yes? Why is someone like you hanging about Dust Town so much? Nugs? Yes. They don't got much meat on them, but down here you can't be picky. Better than nothing. What for? You going to cook them up yourself? Yeah, I can find a Nug for you. Could even get one from outside the city. Those ones in the deeps don't eat as much garbage. I don't know what they eat, but they always seem healthier, you know? Shiny coats, bright eyes. How much you giving me? Don't know. Depends on how big a one I catch. Give me some time. I'll hunt him down for you. Sod it all, the Exile. Never thought I'd see your face in the Commons. Never thought I'd be glad to either. But this could only help Balin. Whether he forgives you or you scare people, it's another crack in the old way. I'll take your gold. You're good for that. Greetings, and welcome to Garen Garenson's Luxury Goods Shop. Wow, there are a lot of you. And I've never seen one of those before. The things they come up with. What was I saying? Right. I have some lovely things here. Lilyrium. Enhanced, of course.
wardens endorse anarchy in Orzammar! Lord Haramont, furious at the Grey Warden's interference. Explain. Well, you've simply outdone yourself. They're talking all over the city about how someone finally went through Dust Town and slaughtered the Carta like Genlocks. When I take the throne, I'll give you troops for the Blight and a shiny Idukan coat of arms for your byblow. Unfortunately, I cannot say when. While many Deshers appreciate my ending Jarvia's threat, Haramon still holds great loyalty. We need something more dramatic to shift the balance. What do you know of the Paragon Bronca? Two years ago, she heard of something the Ancients created. It inspired her to leave everything behind and venture into the Deep Roads. She is the only Paragon in four generations, and she turned her back on her responsibilities. Paragon is like an ancestor born in this time. If she returned, her vote would outweigh the entire assembly. Anyone with her support could take the throne unchallenged. She had an entire house with her, dedicated to her protection. With the number of ruins still intact, they could last for a long time. And Haramond is looking as well. It's too risky to assume she's dead only to have him take credit for finding her. You have my thanks. Seek her in Keridan's Cross. I will try to delay the vote until you return. Grey Wardens present in Orzammar. Enforcement of Lord Balin. Lord Balin is a bad, bad man. Yeah. I am still waiting to hear who takes the throne.
There you are. I thought I'd spoken to a Grey Warden, but for some reason I chalked it up to the drink. I know you're down here to look for Bronca, and uh, I need to ask a favor. I, I have, for all the sodding good it's done me. I'm the only one who still cares about her as a person. Everyone else thinks she's just a symbol they can leave in the deep roads where she can't offend anyone. I know what Bronca wanted, and how she was looking. You presumably know everything Balin scouts have discovered about where she disappeared. If we pool our knowledge, we stand a chance of finding Bronca. Otherwise, good sodding luck. You should know that Bronca was looking for the Anvil of the Void. The secret to building golems, which was lost centuries ago. The smith Caradin built it, and with it, Orzammar had a hundred years of peace, while it was protected by the golems forged on the anvil. As far as anyone knows, the anvil was built in the old Orton Taig. Bronca planned to start looking there, if she could ever find it. All she knew was that it was past Caradin's cross, no one's seen that tag for 500 years. If we're going, let's get moving. Bronca's not gonna sodding find herself. Oh, blast it. Careful out there. Caradin's Cross. I can't believe Balin actually tracked this place down. This used to be one of the biggest crossroads in the old Empire. You could get anywhere from here, including Orton Taig. It's the home of Caradin, the paragon who made the anvil. He was an Orton before he founded his own house. And even then, he spent most of his time in their Taig. Bronca figured it was the best guess for where the anvil was located. Aye. Bronca dug up some maps of the ancient empire. It's a little tough to tell with so much of it collapsed now. But near as I can figure, we're on the right path to Orton Taig. I've been waiting for someone to say that for two sodding years. Start. 